Breaking news from Capitol Hill, Majority Whip Tom Emmer is now the Republican nominee for Speaker, having gotten a majority of the votes when it got down to a head-to-head. -head. Back with us, NBC News senior Capitol Hill correspondent Garrett Hay. Garrett. Well, Andrea, it took five ballots, but you're right. Tom Emmer has secured the majority of the Republican conference. He will be their next speaker-designate, a position that hasn't meant much, frankly, for the speakership ambitions of the men who have held it thus far. He'll be the third speaker-designate after Steve Scalise and Jim Jordan. Both won a majority in conference, like Emmer, but failed to get the necessary support to win on the floor. And that'll be Emmer's next task. He's going to finish up with somewhere in the 115 to 120 votes in the secret ballot process that's been going on in the room behind me all morning. But of course, as we've all learned, he's got to get to 217 on the floor to get there. Now, all of these candidates who had been running, and there started with nine of them yesterday evening, have signed pledges indicating that they will support the nominee on the floor. And there has been a significant effort uh, behind the scenes among Republican leaders and even the rank and file to push their membership into that posture, to say enough is enough, and whatever your issues may be, it's time to come together and vote on the floor. But as again, we have learned, it only takes a very very small minority, a handful of votes to doom the speaker bid of anyone who actually moves to the floor. So that becomes the next big question. When does Tom Emmer try to move this to the floor? It'll be his call to make. And does he believe he has the support? And how will he test it? We've seen different theories on this. Steve Scalise waited. He tried to lock up support behind the scenes. Seeing that it wasn't there, he dropped out. Jim Jordan eventually came to the floor after a couple of days and tried to force the issue, pressure those who were opposing him. That that only caused that opposition to grow. Will Emmer take a different tack? Will it be enough to make up for some distrust of him among the most pro-Trump elements of this con uh, uh, conference? That'll be what I'm watching here and what we'll hope to start learning more about as soon as this meeting behind me breaks up and we can start talking to the folks involved, Andrea.